With their recent run of success, there's little doubt the Black Ferns are one of the toughest opponents in world rugby. But no team is unbeatable, as Ireland proved at the 2014 Women's Rugby World Cup. At the end of the day, it's 15 v 15. We knew that we just had to play our, our style of rugby and put everything to them. Everyone knew what we had to do and we just went out and did, and did our job. We were going to go out and we were going to play and we had that tough belief in 1 to 23 that we could do this and we were going to play our game of rugby. Ireland dominating in the lineout. Goes into the breakdown, looking after the ball on this occasion here. There's quite confidence within the dressing room that this was, this was achievable and I think the fact that maybe a lot of people had kind of written us off beforehand, it drove us on even more and it kind of united us even more and brought us even closer together. And I just remember going out to do our warm-up. We were so focused on what we were doing um, and so clued into one another. When we stopped, stepped onto the pitch, um, things, things just started to flow. And you know, even when we were down points, it never phased us. We went again and we were all positive with one another. Everard is there, the try has been scored. So the perseverance, it has certainly paid for Ireland. Fitzpatrick, the pick, yeah, against the uh, uh, the bottom of the post. From... We were calm, we knew what we had to do, and to be fair, Fiona Cochran and some of the other senior players kind of laid down a marker, and we were going to step it up even more in the second half. The bounce is kind before Briggs will have a go. Briggs the first tackle. Now then, where's the support? She gets it from Alison Miller. Miller, the wide outside. Miller goes for the try line. It's a brilliant try for the Irish. Um, Ali Miller, you know, she's an outstanding player and, you know, it, it probably was that turning point, that pass from Briggs um, out to Ali and, you know, she, she's a finisher. She Once she gets that ball in hand, she had the space to go and she never stopped until she got over the try line, you know, and it, it, that's just something that the team brings together. Briggs gives an almighty clout. It's looking good for Ireland. There's a few moments where it could have gone either way, I guess, and then looking around being like, right, we need to, we need to shut shop and, and just keep driving on and do what we're doing. And there it is, Briggs kicks for touch. Wait for the whistle from Leah Birad. And there it is, Ireland have achieved the unthinkable. Oh, I think some people cried. Um, I think, you know, it was just that, that belief of that we've actually done this. There was people going mad at the end of it. I think I've beaming smiles and there's a lot of shocked people at home that we got a lot of texts, but yeah, for those I mean, 90 seconds that we were on the pitch, I'd say I'd probably never ran as fast in my life over to Ali Miller to give her a hug. If you, if you clock that on the speedometer, <laughs> that, that's as quick as I'm ever going to get.